If you didn't see the last episode, I highly recommend you watch that. So, you may notice right now that my party looks uh, slightly different than it did maybe a couple episodes ago. So, I'm not going to spoil it in case you didn't already see it. But, uh, let's just say things happened uh, in the last episode. But, uh, you know, no spoilers. I got my second gym badge. Do not keep the chairman waiting. Head to the seafood restaurant at the captain's table. Um... Oh, the lead card's cool. So I guess this is like their little, uh, I don't know. It think it gives you knowledge about people, yes. Which is very important before going into a Pokemon battle. So as a matter of fact, let me look up Nessa's right now to see what that monster says on her card. Highly recommend, okay, so. Wait, what? Where's the, where's the knowledge? Oh, okay. Her father is a fisher and her mother works in the marketplace perhaps because of her parents. She grew up playing with water type Pokemon and eventually made it all the way to being a gym leader. She met Sonia during their gym challenge and they continue to be close friends. And Nessa often gives Sonia fresh seafood from Holbury. She has declared that Milo of Turffield is her rival, but Milo responded by saying that his rival is himself. That is very uh, cool, I guess. Where is this restaurant at? I already forgot. I think it's up this hill. Oh, look, it's a fisherman. Yeah, Nessa, that girl is, uh, she's, she certainly is something special, let me tell you. Especially that dreadnought of hers. Oh, this is the restaurant right here. Perfect. Um. Yeah, there's gonna be a level gap with my Pokemon, most likely. Oh, there he is. David, let's celebrate your recent victory. Oh, you're invited too? You two know each other? That's great. Come now. Please be seated. Man, Sonya knows everyone. Where's the one lady? Is this the chairman's a theme? Holbury is a seafood town. Naturally, if one is going to eat here, the obvious choice is the local cuisine. Everything on the menu is delicious. By the way, how is Pro Professor Magnolia getting on? I'm quite indebted to her, you know? He was the one who figured out how to unleash the power of wishing stars and use that power to Dynamax Pokemon. We would never have been able to create Dynamax bands without her. There's still so much we don't know about Dynamax. He even made me take a power spot detector with me when I started traveling. What the heck is that? Allows you to discover power spots. Oh, I guess that makes sense. I don't like hearing that Professor Magnolia is so worried though. If only there was something I could do. Sonia, it may be good for you to visit the vault in Hammerlock. I believe the key to unlocking the secrets of the Dynamax phenomenon lies in the history preserved there. Okay, I guess that's the next destination. Okay, so... Oh, I gotta talk to him now. It's regrettable, but I suppose it can't be helped. Okay, that's fine. I didn't, I didn't really need to talk to him anyway. He's probably just gonna tell me I did a good job. Does he think he's doing me a favor? He's right that the vault would be a good place looking to info for the legends, but... He got the water badge. Yeah, defeating Ness is no small feat. Oh, <laughs> you don't know how right you are. Here's a TM as a reward. Retaliate! Isn't this a strong move? I think it, it is pretty strong. Till next time? Okay. Um... Do you have anything to tell me? Probably not. Hello, person. Oh, they don't want to talk to me. Understandable. Okay, so let me see what... Oh, it's Hop. You've got both the Grass Badge and the Water Badge, right? In that case, we're both headed for Mato Stocky and the Fire Gym Leader Kabu. Yeah, I heard. How about I share with you a little tip about the Leader Kabu? From what I heard, he's pulled up now in Galar Mine Number 2. What? what? There's more? If he's in there, then we can't take him on... Even if we zip over there. Putting the brakes on our gym challenge. So I say we head to that place. Let's go see what all the fuss is about. I swear every gym leader involves me looking for them. Um, Right. So gallery mine number two. Where, where is this at? I'm really bad with directions. I'm kind of like Leon. It's right there. Okay, this should be easy. However, I expect that if it goes anything like the first mine... Um... I probably won't be able to catch a Pokemon because, uh, oh, there's a person here. I don't think I've ever talked to them. Hold on. Give me a second. All right. So nothing important. Wait, wait, there's an item. Food. I love food. 
Oh, okay, Shell Bell. This is the thing I talked about in a couple episodes ago. Oh my god, I got lucky finding this thing. I'm going to put this on right now. So this is the thing, if I'm not mistaken, where if I hurt somebody, it like heals me. The holder restores. Yeah, cool. So I can just give this to Mochi instead, since that's our offense right there. And then I can give left leftovers to Frank. I mean, Frank, dude. He was pulling through against Nessa. Uh, like I'm telling you guys, you... <laughs> If you didn't see the last episode, it is a must. Definitely the best episode so far. I don't even know what episode we're on. Maybe this is like 10 or something. I kind of lost track. Wait, did I just walk past grass? Oh, we're already in the mine. Oh, interesting. No, this is... Okay, never mind. Okay, so we're already in this mine. Hopefully, I can get an encounter. The last mine, I didn't get one because the only Pokemon I could see were... Okay, get away from me. Something tells me I'm not going to be able to find any Pokemon that are random in here. I think it's just going to be the same thing as last time where they're just walking around all willy-nilly. Wait a second, but there is that little fishing spot right there, though. Oh, no, not this guy. <laughs> Let me guess. Oh, I'm the best ever, and I'm going to beat you in a Pokemon battle. Yeah, we'll see about that. I'd feel sorry for my Pokemon if I made them take part in a battle against low-level opponents. I'm not in the mood to deal with weaklings right now. Then again, I suppose it's a form of mercy to crush weak opponents early on. If you're under the misguided impression that you're stronger than me, then surely you would be up for a Pokemon battle. What? Arrogance, man. Arrogance is a form of delusion. Alright, let's see if he got any stronger. Pokemon trainer... Still don't know how to say their name. Okay, four Pokemon. Oh, okay. I think I should be able to one-shot this thing. What level is this? 21? Oh, I'm about to destroy you. Go, Mochi. Flame charge. Uh, he lived. Oh, wait. Is he going to use Endeavor again? I'm scared. This is what he did last time, too. That stupid Solacist. Oh, no, you fool. You silly, silly goose. That's going to do nothing. Oh, okay. That actually did do something, huh? Whatever. A super... Hey, that's cool with me. You know why? Because I'm literally about to heal off of this man because I have a shell bell on now. Isn't that funny? Yeah, let's see how much that heals me for. 52, I went... Oh. What do you know? It looks like leftovers may actually be the better item. Let's see how much that heals me for. I did a little more damage. After two turns from leftovers, I probably would have got like 10 health. So now I'm at... Almost as much. That's fine. I think... Uh, yeah, I'll just keep like this. Blooper wants to learn Sing. Who's Blooper again? Oh, that's my Minchino that I've yet to use. Um, Helping Anya. Yeah. We don't we do not do double battles around here. Yeah, Frank... Yeah, I think it'd be better on Frank anyway. Just because Frank is naturally tankier. Gothita? That thing's going to get one shot. I promise. Okay, this time for real though. I'm at 58 health. This should heal me for, I don't know, maybe like 8 or something. What? It did less damage? You're telling me that thing's tankier than Solacis? Oh my god, that's going to actually hurt me. Oh. Okay, so Solacis is tankier and does more damage. Well, now I know who the stronger Pokemon is out of the two. Definitely, um, Reuniclus over, uh, Gothitelle. Man, I had to go through the memory banks for those names. Okay, cool. So who's next? I remember he had this, uh... Atena. Did that thing evolve or something? No, it's still the same little whatever that creature is. Alright, let's destroy her. Oh, but that... Oh, what? That was a crit! Oh! Okay, so this thing's probably even stronger than the other ones. What's it gonna do, though? It's not every day I get to value, so I suppose I might as well try out this move. Alright, what, what... Psybeam. I'll admit, these moves are getting stronger. Well, I didn't get confused, so I don't care. I'm staying in. Ember attack, go. It is a good thing I found these items, people. Because, uh, he actually might have been able to knock me out already. Or at least threaten a switch. That'd be really low on health right now. Looper leveled up, nice. Ponyta. Fire-type Pokemon. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I can handle that. 
Axel, not everyone can corner my team like this. Where'd you get a ponytail from? Oh! That's a strange looking ponytail. That, I'm... I think that's a fairy, right? It shouldn't be a fire type. Flame charge, go. Yeah, it's just a fairy, I'm assuming. That's right. And Ponyta and... I don't know if it was last generation or this one, but they're now... Okay, Confusion. That's a psychic move. I think it's a fairy, though. I got confused. Nope, 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 nope. I am not messing around with that. I am not going to punch myself and lose Mochi like this. Um... Yeah, you know what? I'm going to send out Frank. Frank's had enough. And Frank knows Acid, too, for some reason. Right, let's see. Oh, that Confusion's going to do nothing. Yummy. Now I'm going to heal all that up right now. 74. Take me back to 81. Oh, okay. I, I was close, though. 79. All right, Acid. That thing's probably a fairy. It has to be, so... This should take it out. It's super effective. God, that did nothing to me, and that was stabbed. You should have went with confusion, buddy. Wait. Wait, what? Is this thing a dual type? What resists? Okay, now I'm confused. It can't be a fire type, because I literally just went for a fire move on it, and it it didn't resist. It's, it has to be a fairy, though. Huh, that is interesting. I need to see what that is. What else could it be? What what resists poison? Not steel. That would do nothing. Maybe it's... No, it's not a rock type. It's not a ground type. I don't know. I need to see. That's that's a strange Pokemon there. I've seen it before, but... Uh, I don't remember the typing. Interesting. Uh, part of me, it seems I must take back my words. You're not weak, you just lack talents. Your chances of completing the gym challenge are pretty slim, I must say. Here, I'll give you this. Something to show you, you at least try. Alright. Their lead card. Um, I guess I'm going to read up on this individual and see why they are so messed up. Okay, so the good news is we have these uh, random... Oh, he... I didn't even get healed up. Oh. Okay, well, I don't feel like leaving this cave, so I'm just going to, um... Where is it? I use, like, 50 of these against Nessa. Wait, wait, wait. I'll, I'll save those. I think I have right. Yep, yep, regular potions will do. Just heal up Mochi until I get to the next place. I totally forgot to stock up on, uh, potions at the Pokemon Market, but, but that's okay. This will do. I, I mean, certainly this cave won't be that scary, so... Like I said, you see this? These are random Pokemon. I have no idea what's in there. So I'm going to keep walking around this cave and see if um, I can maybe get a different uh, random encounter. Um, I think the Pokemon in this cave would be more interesting than what's in the water. But we'll have to see. But if I can't find anything, I'll, I'll walk back there and I'll... What is that? That must be the evolved version of uh, the Roly Coley I saw earlier, which means it's probably... um. A rock type. This should do it, right? Oh, okay. Well, rock types usually have high defense, so it just did nothing to that guy. What are you going to do to me? Rapid spin. Yummy. No, oh, more speed. I mean, I don't know if that thing is fast or not. Yeah, it's definitely not fast. I still outsped it, even though it's literally on. Are those wheels? I mean, it's a minecart, so... I don't know, maybe, I don't think it rolls around, I think it kind of walks around on its little, I don't know, kind of like a pirate with peg legs, sort of, a little stubby, I don't know, I wonder if that Pokemon has, it either has a very easy time moving or a very uh, clunky time, I would imagine, so, oh, look at that, blueberries evolving into uh, everyone's favorite generation 2 water type. Waxire. And Blueberry's all grown up now. That's funny. I got two... Uh, um, wait, wait. Hold on. Let's read the data. The Water Fish. 165. That's kind of heavy. It has an easygoing nature. Doesn't care if it bumps its head on boats and boulders while swimming. Dude, I, I have two Pokemon right now that just don't care about anything in the world. And that's... um. That's Blueberry and Frank. Blueberry's fully evolved. Let's go check out these stats, actually. Oh, this might help me a lot. The next gym leader's fire. The problem is, um... Blueberry's... 
a little under leveled. Oh my god, bloopers 14. 24, 24, 25, 29. Yep. What do I know? Water gun mud shot. Yeah, that should do good. I don't think the fire type gym leader is uh, intelligent enough to have grass type moves, certainly. Oh, that's a scary thing about having one of these Pokemon that's quad, um, you know, susceptible to something. Because if I get hit by a grass move, you can say goodbye to Blueberry. So I got to be careful. I just want to pull this up to see... Um, is there a way to, like, search the Ponyta? I, I really want to know. What kind of Pokemon is that? I think it'll tell me that... Wait, wait, actually, hold on. If I click on Rog and Roll... Okay, it does say the type. It's Rock. Where is the, um... Hello? Uh, Ponyta? There's so many Pokemon in this game. Look how many I'm skipping over. I'm already in 300. I hope I didn't skip it. Oh, there it is. It's the newest Pokemon, actually. 333. Three, three. It's, it's a Psychic type. Oh, that's kind of weird, though. I guess that makes sense. He only uses psychic Pokemon, I think. So that means that one thing with the hat is a psychic type. I thought it was a fairy type. Why would Ponyta should be a fairy type? It's a, it literally looks like a unicorn. Duh. Okay, that thing almost wasted my encounter. Um. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna. Yeah, how about this? I'm just gonna walk back right now, and I'm gonna- I'm gonna do this, yep. I don't wanna accidentally ruin my encounter by getting caught by one of these random Pokemon out here. What do I got? What do I got? Oh, this is the- the monster himself! It, it, this thing evolves into a, the Dreadnought. So this is a decent catch. Level 22? Alright, double kick. It's gonna do nothing to that thing. It protected. See, what did I say? Literally nothing. Zero damage. But do I, uh... I don't think I'm going to be using it in my party at the moment, because I already have Blueberry fully evolved. Yeah, I don't think that'd be very necessary. Alright, what's it going to do? Bite. Oh, yep, yeah, I remember all these moves not too long ago. That did a lot of damage! That wasn't even Stab. Okay, let's go for a Pokeball right now. Oh, yeah, I've got like 40 Great Balls. Look at me stocking up. I've got... Over a hundred Pokeballs and like five potions left. Okay, that thing didn't even shake once. Headbutt. Ouch. Um. Ember? I mean, you resist this. This shouldn't do much. Yeah, I did nothing. Thank God I did it burn it. That's the one risk I run by using Ember. Ouch. Okay, Mochi's starting to kind of get beat up right now. You know what? I'm gonna use a great ball to kind of help me out right now. I've already got like 40, might as well. Nice. Okay. Hey. I think it's good after three, like guaranteed. I don't think it can shake three times and break out. Oh, we got ourselves a new Pokemon. Well, actually, you know what? I could probably use this thing instead of Blooper. Just a really triple, you know. Uh, the snapping Pokemon. Apparently the the itch of its teething impels it to snap its jaws at anything in front. Okay, so this is clearly a snapping turtle. Wait, Pokedex updated. Wait, what? Okay, I don't know what that was. Um, You know what? We just battled Nessa, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to name this thing Nesso. Because this thing is a male. Nessa ending with an A is a feminine thing. Or at least that's how it works in Latin. So I'm going to call it Nesso. In honor of Nessa. And you know what? I am going to put this thing in my party. Let's, let's swap it for Blooper. So I can have two water types. Just in case things get hairy. At that next guy. And I mean this thing shouldn't be too far from evolving into a... Uh... What the heck is that thing? You know I'm going to see. What is this Pokemon anyway? A stun... Why does it look like that? It's like some kind of, like, Venus flytrap looking creature. What? There's no way that's a ground electric like it was in Generation 5. Ow, sucker punch. That kind of did a lot of damage to me. It was super effective. What? What is this Pokemon? Is this a steel type? Is it a bug type? Is it a grass type? It has pictures of leaves on it. Flame charge, go. It lived? How? <laughs> what? 
That's silly. All right, what's it gonna do? Revenge. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god, I gotta get out of here. Somebody take care of this thing right now. Go, Fear City. Attack. There, There's a monster here. I don't know why I chose him. Soccer Punch. Oh, this thing literally is going for a super effective move. Okay, well, I'll just pray to the heavens that it doesn't go for it right now. It didn't. Nice. Thank you, Arceus. It, it resisted that. Wow. I think it is a Steel type then. It was weak to fire and it resisted flying. Okay, so Mochi is extremely injured right now. Pan leveled up. Frank leveled up. Everyone's getting big and strong now. Even Mochi leveled up. Mochi wants to learn Headbutt. Um, I suppose I could put that on. I'm already pretty fast. Yeah, you know, I'll, you know, I'll change it out for quick attack so I get almost double the power. That should help in case I find something that I can't cover with my other, uh, you know, coverage. But fire and fighting is already pretty good. Okay, so let me not put Mochi in the front. I think I can confidently get through this place with um, my other Pokemans. Well, let's just use Pan. Um, oh, there's an item right here. Excellent. Grip Claw. An item to be held... Oh, that, so it's it's useless. Don't worry about it. When I'm tired of work, I, I gotta battle. I gotta remember the next Pokemon market in the next place. I gotta buy um a million potions. That is a rock type Pokemon. I was afraid of this. I was thinking, oh, there's we're in a cave, so there might be rock type Pokemon. No, the trainers are silly here. They wouldn't use that. Um, do I really want to mess around with this thing? No, no, I don't. You know. What? How about this? We're going to go into Blueberry. She's going to shine right now. Yeah, I'm not trying to get, you know, O-Code by a Stone Edge or something. Smackdown. Yeah, that, th that actually would have done some decent damage, but nothing. Now it's going to do nothing to Blueberry. Alright, so... Water Gun. That should be a two-shot KO. Oh, I'm faster. Oh my god! It just died! Oh, crit. Nice one. <laughs> that kind of surprised me. Okay, Blueberry's getting strong. Timber. Um, alright, nice. Then I can go into Pan and just, uh, probably one-shot that thing with Pluck. I do it. That is Stab, and I have a Sharp Beak on it, too, just because. I like how, um, she knows, uh, what's it called? Hone Claws and Beat Up. So that, um, probably late game, this Pokemon would be, I would imagine, pretty good at sweeping teams. I would just have to Hone Claws up. You know, up against not a rock type or whatever. You know, something that I don't get O-code by. And then I can... As long as I'm fast enough, I should be able to outspeed things later on. So this is kind of a, a late game Pokemon, I'm thinking. Alright, so that battle wasn't too painful. What's this right here? Oh, well, look at that Gastrodon in the back. Okay, so this is just literally a dead end. I don't know how you move around in water on this game. So I'm sure that will be revealed to me later on if it hasn't already. Oh no. Oh, that's right. I saw this thing's mouth. I thought that was a Pokeball on the ground. I saw it earlier. You know what? No, I'm not messing around with this monster. I'm running for the hills. I think it's the first Pokemon I ever ran away from. Wait, no, no, no. The first Pokemon was that Beware that tried to unalive me in my whole run. What the heck are these guys doing here? Oh, they're up to no good, I'm sure. Excuse me, mate. Sorry to bother you. You're one of them taking part in the gym challenge, right? I guess. Crikey, but that's really something. I love to battle against a great trainer like you. Well, look at you. Oh, I already know where this is going. Yep, Hop's here. We're in the middle of a conversation. I'm Hop, the trainer who will be your next champion. Oh, man. Even the guys are clowning on Hop. Honestly, I can't really blame them. Are we about to do another double battle? Yeah, we are. Alright, so I'm going to do exactly what I did last time too. What's very unfortunate is in the last time this happened, my video got corrupted the moment I stopped recording it. So nobody ever saw that video, but it was supposed to be, I think the original episode 5, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, these Pokemon, they got stronger. Um, so I'm going to demonstrate exactly what I did last time, just to prove a point. So first I'm going to Home Claws up. 
They, it it would have been so much funnier if this happened the first time. Whoa, whoa, okay, hold on. That's kind of a strong move. Okay, maybe I shouldn't mess around with these Pokemon then. Maybe I do need help from Hop. Because last time I KO'd all of Hop's Pokemon before I attacked theirs. Please don't. Oh, it went after me. That's that's terrific. Oh, Tail Whip hits both of us. I didn't know that. Wooloo, double kick. Nice. Okay, I remember when Mochi was just a score bunny. I one-shot that Zigzagoon, so it got a lot stronger since becoming a Linoon. Let's go for Pluck on the Thief right there, Swiper. That would have been a perfect name for this Pokemon right here. Oh, what? It lived? Oh, please don't go for me. Thank you, Wooloo. Dang, Wooloo got kind of smacked up right now. Snarl. Oh, yikes. No, Wooloo died. Oh, man. So I'm not even going after Hop this time, and yet he's still getting wrecked by Team Yell of all people. Oh, look at that! He's got his own pan. Level 21. How strong is mine? 26, huh? Yep, he didn't train that thing well enough, clearly. I'm gonna take out that Linoon. That thing's clearly... Wait, why is it faster? I thought I just outsped that thing last time. I, I guess I was wrong. Maybe I was seeing things. Oh, thank goodness I didn't miss. That would have been really annoying. So, Linoon goes down... Lanoon, Linoon, whatever. Hopefully, uh, he goes for Pack and takes out... Oh, he, he knows Pluck, too. That's right. His Corvus Squire is almost as strong as Pan. Yeah, I don't think I could have messed around and, and put down all of um, uh, Hop's Pokemon because uh, I might have actually risked getting KO'd by one of their Pokemon. Oh, look, it's Leaper, the evolved version of uh, Purloin. I'm going to take that Pokemon out. That, I think that one's probably the bigger threat. Fury Swipes. Nice, I dodged. Wait, no, Corvus Square. Okay. He went after Hop. There's no way it lives, right? Yep. It's dead. I took it out. I see, Yeah, see, Purloin, I think it looks better when it's on all fours. It just makes more sense. It even evolves into a Pokemon that's on all fours. That Pluck's going to do nothing. That was super effective. Is that Pokemon supposed to be like... Like a fighting type or something? I guess so. Well, it doesn't really matter, because it's about to go down to my pack right now. As long as I don't miss. I, okay, nice. I'm, I'm happy. If this was uh, an older game, I'm sure I would have missed, like, two attacks already from one sand attack that they gave me. Cool, so Hop actually kind of helped out a little bit. Probably not too much. I'm sure I had everything under control. Man, I'm still bummed that that one video got corrupted. Nobody saw that. Uh, guys, I swear, I... I I took out all of Hop's Pokemon before I did anything else. Wait, what's going on? Nesso. Oh, man, no way. How ironic is that? Last episode, I had to deal with this monster. And now this monster is one of my own. Dredna. I'm excited. This thing, trust me, guys. <laughs> this Pokemon's pretty strong. 254 pounds with jaws that can shear through... Steel Rods, the highly aggressive Pokemon chomps down on its unfortunate prey. Oh, so it is a Water Rock type. It's the Bite Pokemon, that makes sense. Let me guess it. Oh, oh I thought I was going to learn Bite, but I already knew Bite. But it's learning Rock Tomb, that's even better. Let's get rid of... Well, oh, that's Stab. Oh my god, this thing's special attack is pitiful. No wonder why Razor Shell was hurting me so much. Um, Do I need Protect, though? Nah! Just give me more offense, buddy. One, two, and ta-da! Nesso forgot Protect, and he learned Rock Tomb instead. Alright, cool. That little mug's the champion's little brother. Guess that's what you get when your older brother's not useless. <laughs> what? Yeah, that's wonderful wording that they just used. That's my rival for you. Now then, where could Kabu have gone off to? Let's keep going. Maybe he's father in... Oh, yeah, that's right. He's in here somewhere. He did bring that up uh, earlier. Wait, what the heck? Dude, did you guys see that Dreadnought right there? I'm going to go ahead and stay away from that monster. Scraggy. Did this thing... I don't think it was a random encounter. I think it just literally popped out of the ground right in front of me. Oh, I think Cop healed all my Pokemon. So I guess I could switch back to Mochi in front, but, uh, you know what? Mochi's had enough screen time, you know. He's been the main character long enough. Let's let, uh, uh her take care of his pan. That's right. Um, let's stay away from that thing. Oh, it's that little, whatever that silverfish-looking creature's supposed to be. 
So we're almost through this place of map. Oh my god! Okay, I got soft sand. This boosts ground type moves. Oh, I could give this to um Blueberry right now. That's perfect, because I know I'm going to forget to later. Huh. It, it would appear that I actually need to use the bathroom right now, but I'm not going to do it. Just for the audience. I don't want to... Um, abrupt. Oh, what? There's another trainer. Oh, man. We're going to be here for a while. Wait, there's an item. Okay, I'm not going to get the item. That's fine. Steam power. Y you know what? I bet this guy's going to have those uh, those coal Pokemon because he brought up steam. I was wrong. He brought out a drill burr. Okay, I know that thing is, in fact, a ground type Pokemon. So what I'm going to do is... How many Pokemon? He's got two. No. Home claws. Why not? What are you going to do? Earthquake? Imagine if a level 22 drill were actually new Earthquake. That'd be kind of scary. That'd be like a top tier Pokemon for a Nuzlocke. Home Claws! Okay, well, he's just copying me now. Um, He's not a Steel type yet. He's not extra drill, so I'm going to go for this. Stab, plus one. Sharp Beak, yep. And Drill Burr is no more. Okay, this Flying Bird Chicken Pokemon thing is probably going to be one of my strongest Pokemon later on. It's already... That's an Onyx. Um, oh, I know. Blueberry. Go get him. I'll just hit him with a water gun. That should absolutely decimate this Onyx. Did anyone else... Okay, I don't know how old the, the viewers are, but... um, You guys remember in Generation 1... That Smackdown's gonna do nothing, buddy. Um, Generation 1... You remember how they said in like the anime how rock types... They resist um, electric and it does nothing. And, you know, when Ash go fights Brock, you know, Onyx and Geodude take literally no damage. That really threw me off because that's actually incorrect. Rock type Pokemon take neutral damage from uh, electric moves. It's ground type Pokemon that take nothing. Just so happens that uh, Geodude and Onyx are ground type Pokemon. We got Sandtomb. Oh, I don't really like that move. That's kind of like a whirlpool, whirlpool move. That's a one of those Stone Fist things. I'm going to stay away from that. How big is this cave? We've been here for a minute. Oh, it's Hop again. Oh, that's what appears to be the gym leader, I would assume. Yep. Thank you for helping out my training team meal, but I must say it's unforgivable for you to get in the way of a carcoal hard at work. We weren't getting in its way. We were trying to cheer it on. Still, you did a number on us in that Pokemon Bell, so it's time for team meal to Scarper. I, I don't know what that word means. I've learned so many words in this Let's Play. Cheering is one thing, but you shouldn't get in the way of honest work. Ooh, that's Kabu. Man, he's wicked. No wonder he's the fire type gym leader. He sort of does remind me of Blaine from the first gen. Only this guy's probably got a lot more style than Blaine. And the water type Pokemon in Gallarmine number two are the perfect opponents to train against. Hey, that's that's smart actually. He doesn't want to do things the easy way, he wants to do it the hard way to make his Pokemon stronger. Get a good rest of the hotel and make sure you're both in top condition. Okay, so it looks like he's ready to battle. Alright, time for you to head on. Oh, this isn't even his. It's just a wild carcoal. What a nice guy. I do find it interesting how these gym leaders all the time in these games, they're very wholesome people and they just care about, you know, the people and wild Pokemon stuff. He said that a lot of gym challengers give up because they can't beat Kabu. Oh, man. That's strong, huh? Man, now I'm getting all fired up too. Oh, I see what you did there. It's a fire type gym leader. Yeah, yeah, very clever. Oh, yeah, that's the end of the cave. Cool. So we made it out. Stop in at the Badoo drop in for the night. Oh, that's where I was in, uh, once again, the video that got corrupted that one time. Yay, so many memories. That car call from before. I guess it's been here on a job. You do know about pokey jobs by now, right? I, I really don't. What? Pokey what? Yeah. Looks like there's no helping it. In that case, settle that. Settle down and let Professor Hop teach you a thing or two. Oh, boy, here we go. Let's see if I can remember what Lee had written down in his old notebook. Basically, you can have your Pokemon go about and help companies or other folks who are in need of some. Really? That's actually interesting. You can take Pokejobs from the Rotami at any Pokemon Center. That's, that's the computer. Now I'm cream crackered. I'm for the Badoo drop in and some sleep. Come tomorrow. That fire gym leader Kabu better be ready because I'm coming for him. Jobs. Okay. I, I actually will go look at that. But, uh... Hold on a second. Is this a new route? Is this like Route 6 or something? No, it's Matostaki Outskirts. I don't care. It's a new region. Perfect. So this is going to be the stopping point for this episode. This was a pretty good episode. I'm f I think it's funny how we pretty much just caught 
a, a Nessa, only it's not a Nessa, it's a Nessa, huh? See what I did there? And then Blueberry Evolve, so we made some progress this video, so, um, you know, we're gonna pick up right exactly, right here tomorrow, um, on Route 6, or whatever this place is called, okay. Thanks for watching, I'll see you tomorrow, goodbye.